To all who come to this happy place, welcome. G'day everyone, Disney Dave coming at you once again from Down Under with another uh, video review today. Of course today we are looking at something which is uh, fits into both categories, music, memorabilia. I can't ch quite choose which one it fits into exactly so it's a little bit of both. We are taking a look at something that's very special as is everything that I review on this channel. I think I say that about everything. But this is something very special. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while since I saw this teased on the Disney Music Emporium. Uh, I'm not sure if it was their Facebook page or their Instagram. I think it might have been both. Uh, a few months ago. We are, of course, talking about the Star Wars Force Awakens original motion picture soundtrack on vinyl picture disc. Ooh, this is so good, yes. This is what I've been waiting waiting for. I spoke about this in a previous video. I picked up the uh, this one here. It's smaller. Uh, this is the one that came out for Record Store Day this year. It says it down the bottom, Record Store Day. I did a review on this one. This is uh, only a couple of cues from the soundtrack. It's sort of a, a soundtrack sampler. I did a, a video review of this one on this channel, so go check that out if you want. There's a link in the description down the bottom. Uh, so yeah, I spoke about this version on this uh, video. Uh, for that one, uh, so I've been waiting for it for a little while, and this is uh, one of uh, two versions of the Force Awakens soundtrack that I will be picking up. I'll be picking up the um, regular version. Well, it's not regular. It's actually a bit special. It's got holograms on it and stuff. Uh, it's a bit hard to explain, but little holograms of uh, TIE Fighters and Millennium Falcon appear in the middle of the disc when you play it. Not this one, uh, it's I'm talking about one that's coming out later uh, in the month, so I will be reviewing that one as well. So... But for now, we're taking a look at this. This is the vinyl picture disc of Star Wars The Force Awakens. It's a two LP set. I will show you both LPs in a moment. I'm going to put this down before I spoil too much. Basically, Disney have been uh, really, 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 really pushing vinyl lately over the last couple of years. Especially the last few months, they've been really, really pushing vinyl. And what they've been doing for the last couple of years is printing or pressing late, uh, uh rather, picture discs of their record. I, I went blank for a moment there. They've been pressing picture discs of their vinyl records, uh, of their uh, soundtracks to classic animated films like Beauty and the Beast and Sleeping Beauty, uh, Cinderella. There's a Jungle Book one that's just come out. There's a whole list of, of these picture discs they've been doing. This is far as I'm aware, is probably just about the first live action film or new release film that they've put on a vinyl picture disc. Of course, it's a wonderful film and a wonderful soundtrack and it really deserves this awesome picture disc treatment. And of course, it's more to cash in on Star Wars. And of course, suckers like me are buying this one and are buying this one and are buying the one that's coming out in, uh, in, uh, in a couple of weeks' time as well. So this is the latest instalment in their picture disc catalogue. As I said, it was teased on their Facebook and their Instagram. Uh, it was only a couple of months ago. It was actually just before Record Store Day it was teased because they were doing an appearance at uh, WonderCon, I think, or one of the um, uh, conventions over in LA. The Disney Music Emporium had a stall, and this was an exclusive title to the... Uh, to their stall over at this uh, convention and luckily thank god they have made it available for general sale in very limited editions there's only a few places you can get it of course the Disney Music Emporium website or Amazon uh, you can get them from I uh, I was very happy to get my hands on this I was I was worried that it was going to be an exclusive to this uh, to this convention and that I was going to have to pay ridiculous prices on eBay for it and thank God I didn't have to because they've made it available but apparently again very limited edition uh, very limited numbers have been pressed don't know what that means it could be a couple of thousand uh, they're still available to purchase both on Disney Music Emporium and and Amazon so if you're interested in getting one of these head over there straight away again very limited numbers so get your hands on it uh, as soon as you can so what I'm gonna do as I do with all my vinyl reviews kinda head on over to the record table over there we're gonna have a look at all of the records there's two records in here they are front and back printed which is very exciting and uh, we're also going to whack it on the record player and just have a, a little look at the discs uh, in motion so let's head on over there we'll take this one and we'll take this one just in case I want to do a little comparison as well and uh, I'll see you over there come on 
Okay, so here we are, the picture disc vinyl uh, edition of Star Wars, The Force Awakens original motion picture soundtrack by John Williams. So this is a Academy Award nominated soundtrack. It didn't win, but it was nominated. Um, we take a look here. Uh, interestingly, the first thing I noticed when I pulled this out was if you are familiar with Disney's past picture discs, you'll probably notice this as well. The past picture discs have come in square cases or square plastic sleeves whereas this new one is actually shaped to the disc which is interesting it's a different kind of a case because it houses two LPs I'll show you that in a moment so that's probably why it's shaped a bit differently but again I don't understand why they couldn't have gone with the square doesn't really matter in the end but it's just something that I noticed as soon as I opened it so this is the first LP this is uh, side A of LP number one and let's take a look if we flip it over this is the second LP but we're looking at side B here uh, so we've got Ray here that's on the uh, plastic sleeve obviously not on the actual record I know it looks like it's on the record but it's on the plastic sleeve so on the front of course we have uh, Kylo Ren this is a sticker on the sleeve too so as I said it's a new kind of case what we have is a little plastic or basically a little sticker there, I don't know if you can see it, you probably, yeah you can. Uh, if we peel that and open it up, if I can, there's a new kind of case that we've not seen before on one of these Disney picture discs. Ooh, there we are. Um, and of course we're now looking at uh, LP1, side B, and LP2, side A. So uh, there you go, you've got the track listings around the, uh, the sides of these LPs here. So it's really interesting to um, sort, of, uh, sort of see how they've set this up to look like a really nice set. It really complements itself, this side complements that side and uh, the two other sides complement each other as well. So of course we've got Han Solo here and we've got Finn over here and they're using the character posters uh, that were released just before the films released. I really like these character posters and I really like that that's what they've chosen to go with these LPs here. And uh, there we have of course Kylo Ren here and Rey over here. These are beautiful and they, they turn out to be a really really nice set and uh, I do like the cover but again even though it is a double thing I don't understand why they couldn't have just you know made it square interesting but again doesn't really matter so that's the case there nice sturdy housing there and uh, you got your four discs uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to take this over to the record uh, the turntable just over here and we're going to have a very uh, closer look at each one of the discs uh, and uh, and just sort of look at them in motion as well. So let's take this and come with me. Alright, so here we are at the turntable. We're going to give you a very brief look at each one of the LPs in the set. I'm going to pull this out very carefully now. Kind of, they kind of get a little stuck in the plastic there. Um, but uh, it's easy enough to get them out with a little bit of uh, the right amount of force. Got a little bit of reflection from this, so we'll try and carefully pop that off to uh, take a quick look uh, so we're looking at LP1 side A here this is the Kylo Ren side uh, of course you've got the Star Wars main theme would be the first track and then it uh, goes off into the rest of the film it's all chronological now I'm not going to actually play any of the record I'm just going to show you the records in motion Basically because every time I do a record review and play a little bit of the record uh, somehow the music labels pick up 20 seconds of me playing the record and chuck a copyright thing on it and ban my videos from certain countries or being played on certain um, platforms and whatever else and I'm sick of getting these copyright infringement notices even though I'm advertising their products their music so I'm just going to show you the records in spin I'm not going to play the music okay we'll stop that and we'll take a look at the other side there's Han Solo there looks absolutely these look 
absolutely beautiful. We'll play him as well. That's what he looks like. Looks very, very cool. Now, I had a chance to play these earlier, so even though I, I'm not going to play the actual soundtrack itself, um, I can say the sound on these is beautiful. It's really, really nice. Picture discs, uh, I suppose, especially in the past, have had a bad reputation of having bad audio quality, bad sound, basically because when picture discs sort of first came into fashion, uh, many, many years ago, sort of 80s, they did a lot of them in the 80s. Disney printed a lot of picture discs in the 80s. Um, it's sort of a tradition that's continuing to go on to this day. Um, that's basically why they do these picture discs. But back then they would press these picture discs on really bad quality plastic. The vinyl wasn't great quality. It was either a really lightweight vinyl or was simply just <clears throat> not produced very well. They were really produced to look at and not to play. A lot, uh, they've come a very, very far way in vinyl production uh, these days, vinyl technology, in that you can get a really, really beautiful sound out of a picture disc now. Uh, there's obviously a, a different way that they manufacture them or print onto them or uh, whatever, uh, but uh, they sound very beautiful. The only way that I'll be able to sort of tell a difference in the sound of this and to a regular LP, I guess, is if uh, is once I get my hands on the actual uh, black vinyl version of the disc. Until then, like what I heard from this is absolutely incredible. The sound was very crisp. The surround sound on it is beautiful, and uh, you know you're getting stuff coming from here. You're getting stuff coming from here, there, from behind you. The mix on it is fantastic. And, like, I have nothing bad to say about it. No hisses, no pops. It's a really clean, really nice vinyl to listen to. So, the old thing about, you know, picture discs being there to look at and not to play is a little bit different these days. Because, as I said, vinyl technology has come a long way. And these sound beautiful. There are going to be a lot of people out there who go, No, there is no way I would play that vinyl. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who don't want to damage the discs or whatever else. I, I do understand that because <clears throat> I've got a few vinyl picture discs and I was the same when I first... Oh, music, be careful. I'm going to turn that down. I just want to give you a little example of that there with the, with the needle on it. A lot of people are scared that it's going to scratch the picture disc, but it's not because it's not printed onto the surface. It's actually part of the plastic. So yes, you can play these uh, picture discs here and uh, it won't scratch up your disc. But if you want to keep it in pristine condition and just, you know, just, just for future sake, then you know, why not preserve it in the in the plastic? I certainly won't be playing the uh, this LP too often, uh, just because I, I want to preserve it. And if I do want to listen to it on vinyl, I have got the black vinyl coming as well. So if we do take a very quick look, I do want to say this is a heavyweight vinyl. So press in the middle very carefully. It's 180 gram, which is uh, the same weight of the. Uh, of the single one. Of course the single one was a smaller disc. Uh, this one is the regular sized uh, LP uh, size. And this has got, as I said, the entire soundtrack. On this side it goes from edge to about here. You can see the distinction. This side from edge to about here. So, <clears throat> looking at the other two discs, we go in to about the same spot on each of the discs and there's all this dead weight, or this dead uh, space in the middle there. But uh, that's about all I need to run over on the vinyl. You've seen them in action. You've seen a very nice close-up of each one. So let's take these and uh, head over to the couch for a very, very quick wrap-up. Okay, so that is the Star Wars Force Awakens original motion picture soundtrack on vinyl. The uh, two LP set recently released, as I said, this is, uh, it's been touted as a Disney Music Emporium exclusive, but you can also get it on Amazon at the moment, as well as a handful of other websites as well. But uh, if I were to suggest to go anywhere, it would be... Disney Music Emporium first and foremost, and then probably Amazon as well after that. Disney Music Emporium, as I've always said, really reasonably priced discs, and the shipping costs internationally are really, really good. 
Amazon, on the other hand, not so much. Really, the shipping prices are a little testy for overseas, especially when you're looking at paying a flat fee for your, your package, as well as uh, paying for each individual item that you chuck in the, uh, uh, in, the, in the package as well. So really, unless you're doing a bulk order on Amazon, that's probably not the best way to do it. So Disney Music Emporium, again, cheap and, uh, and great, uh, great uh, postage costs and all that. Uh, so anyway, that's been my look at the Star Wars Force Awakens picture disc. Uh, again, once again, I will mention that this one is no longer available. Well, it's supposed to be not lo no longer available. You may be able to find this at a record store. They did actually they pressed quite a few of these. It was something like 30,000 or something. And most record store day discs only had a printing of a couple of thousand. So they pressed heaps and heaps of these. So check your local record store. They may be, uh, they may still have a little overstock of that so check that out as well for now though everyone thanks again for joining me on another long-winded video i will be seeing you again i hope in the near future if you'd like to keep updated on all my reviews for products and movies and whatever uh click like click subscribe go over to my facebook and uh, uh rather i got around the wrong way click subscribe and head over to my facebook and give me a like and uh just keep up to date on everything of course in a couple of weeks time once i get my hands on it i'll be reviewing the uh 3d holographic limited edition special edition whatever of the soundtrack as well so it'll be uh really cool to check that out and i hope you join me for that as well uh until then i I, uh, I will see you guys later and I hope you have a magical day.